It's Jeff at Budrum and I just want to show you this elephant's foot yam veggie mix I just made up and I'll show you how I made it. Have a look at that. Looks beautiful. I'll just model do them here. It doesn't take long to get through to the flesh. You know, you see that great big skin there and you, you think it's all skin, but it's not. I'll wash all this and then cut it all up. Just cutting up into oh, the same size you would if you were making a potato salad, I guess. Saucepan of water. Might put a bit of salt in that water. Bring it to the boil and let it cook for maybe 15 minutes. A bit of my sea salt. Why not? I have a saucepan of boiling water here. I'm just going to pop in one medium sized cob of sweet corn. This is all out of the freezer. A handful of diced green mango. Some chopped up green pawpaw and also some sliced yakon. So I'm going to bring this water back to the boil and then let it simmer for a little while. The next thing to do is to finely chop these young red shallots. Tiny little bunch of these alabar spinach. Drain the water out of the elephant's foot yam. Remove the cob of corn out of here. Drain the water out of this. I'll leave the heat on very low and I'm going to add all my Malabar spinach and my young red shallots. Toss them around. Put a little bit of olive oil in there and leave the heat on for about another minute. I'll have six garlic cloves. I'm just going to chop them up fairly small. Another thing I have here is I've got a little chunk of the Chinese keys I harvested a little while back. So any little bit, you're going to finely chop that up, put that in. Chinese keys, also known as finger root. And my turmeric there is in the form of an ice block. So that's been grated. Now with the heat turned on, then about a tablespoon of olive oil in this saucepan here. I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of finely minced crystallized ginger. The rest of my stuff I've prepared. I've also got two young red shallots that I've cut up. And put all that in there. Just going to let that saute for maybe five minutes, that's all. I'm also going to put in about a half a teaspoon of my sea salt, or a good pinch of sea salt. I'm going to add a bit of chilli to it. I have some of my ginger and chilli sauce here. It's fairly hot, so I'm just going to put a little squirt of that in there. Now this is all cooked here. It has a beautiful toasted smell. The beautiful toasted garlic smell. It smells absolutely beautiful. Just All I'm going to do now is just add the rest of my veggies. The elephant's foot jam all nice and cooked. Stir it all through. And you'll see that beautiful turmeric colour. Give it that beautiful yellow. Now this is what I'm taking out to sea with me. That's my elephant's foot yam veggie mix. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.